Now this is, I guess, part two, part three. We're doing uh, anchoring. I'll tell you why I didn't do it the first time. I forgot my drill bit and then I had the wrong size. So what I've got here is a 3 16 shank concrete anchor. And if you don't know this, you've got to run a 5 30 seconds drill bit for the concrete. And then I have a larger drill bit to fit the shank, not the head of the screw. So just the threads will catch in the lumber because I'm going to pre-drill the lumber. And then that way I can just run them straight down in. I'm not getting that resistance from the lumber and they'll bite into the concrete good. This wall was already pre-existing and it's, it was already built for uplift. So these columns are anchored into the concrete. We got a carpenter bee showing up. We know if we're about to do some carpentry, that's right. Your helmet's down there in that carpenter bee trap. So anyhow, these uh, these aren't gonna be, you know, having like a half inch or a three quarter inch bolt down on the concrete. So it is what it is. This wall is already here. This is just a add in and uh, it's already built to code. So good to go. This whole shop is built to code for residential and it's got plumbing, electrical, and all that in it. But the carport, 30 feet by 12 feet, because the shop is 30 by 18, it's a 30, 30 total. Uh, this is, you know, maybe one day this could be a, a like an in-law suite. It could be something like that with a really nice second story, you know, loft area for storage, something like that. So anyhow, we're gonna get these anchors in. I did some temporary brackets down here just while I didn't have my correct drill bit so I used those just to throw up in here I'll do one as a test brand new Milwaukee bitch she's biting hard on them teeth there we go I think I'm gonna run four per 10 foot section that's that's like a two and a half average it should get me in between just about every stud I'll show you this real quick there's a carpenter bee yeah, come on down right here. This little thing's already working good. We're gonna get us a nice picnic table style set up here. Maybe a swing and think about building a cedar one. Well, I'll show you what happened. First one in perfect, the second two, I had to do two side by side, one broke. Then the second one broke. So on the third one, I buried that drill bit. I got her in there as far as it would go. So it's four and a half inches or three and a half. Depends on, <laughs> depends on some things. So got that in there and then threw the hardware in and she bit down perfect. So I think those I may have had a little bit of dust down in the bottom or I didn't bury them deep enough on that drill bit so we'll see again we're not trying to resist uplift on this wall it's already secured with these so this is just added protection and lateral movement so yep good to go I say I'm not impressed with those anchors I'm, maybe I should have went a little bit bigger I broke over half of them very frustrating the only thing I didn't do was blow out all the dust I felt like I got it all out with these drill bits but maybe that's my bad 
somebody in the comments is going to say, yeah, it is. So when I did my lift, I set the anchors and used epoxy and all that, torqued down the anchor bolts. I did uh, three or four feet deep. I can't remember. I think it was four feet deep. Anyways, I'll show you that. These things torque the spec, good to go. I used some expensive epoxy and the anchor bolts. This thing's been great. So I think I know how to set an anchor. Maybe it, I did blow the dust out of those. So maybe that's the problem. This is what happened. I kept losing them. It's all right. That's it on this one. I have to say this Milwaukee hammer bit was absolutely impressive. Very impressive. I think drilled all those holes, no issue. See you on the next one.